A sablé biscuit is a very traditional French biscuit. It's a combination of butter, salt and a few dry ingredients. Now mine's a little bit different because I like to add almond meal for a really lovely nutty flavour. And these biscuits are even more delicious because I'm going to sandwich them with a good dollop of jam. Now into the processor I'm adding the dry ingredients first. So almond meal, caster sugar and some plain flour. I've measured that out. And then a good pinch of salt. When baking, always use salt. The contrast between the sweetness of the jam and the saltiness of the biscuit is going to be fantastic. Now, I'm just going to pulse this just three or four times just to combine the dry ingredients. Fabulous. Now the butter goes in and I'll form a fine crumb. Then I'll add two egg yolks. So the eggs have been combined. You can see that it's still quite sandy and that's where it actually gets the name sablé. In French, sub means sand. But we need it to come together just a little bit more to form our cookie dough. So just a small amount of water. You probably need about one tablespoon, but put a little bit less, check it. Once it just comes together, you know your dough is ready to go. Pulse that again. Okay, perfect. That's what we're looking for. So now take that out of the bowl and I'll just scrape all of this dough onto a nice clean surface and then bring it together with your hands. Don't overwork it because it'll make our pastry too short, meaning it'll crumble. We're going to form that into just a rough disc and then we need to wrap it in some glad wrap. And this goes into the fridge for about an hour until it firms up and then we can start rolling it out. taken the dough out of the fridge and now we need to take it out of the glad wrap. I've also just warmed it up a little bit with my fingers so it's easier to roll out. And before I place it on the board, a little bit of flour just to dust, just so it doesn't stick. And then I'll cut this dough in half and we'll start with one piece and just use your fingers just to spread it out to form a round disc. And now with a rolling pin, we're going to roll it out so it's about three millimetres thick. Now when working with dough like this, you do want to work quickly because if it warms up too much, it's going to be quite sticky. Once the first half of the dough is rolled out, I'm going to use two cookie cutters. So this one's a five centimetre cookie cutter and this one's a 2.5 centimetre cookie cutter because I want to make rings. So this will be the base of it. I'll just show you one. And now to make the top of this sablé sandwich, we need to cut out another five centimetre ring. And then using our 2.5 centimetre ring, we'll just cut out the centre, just like you would do for a donut. So that's the first one done. Now I need to make eight of each of these and then they go into the oven for about eight to 10 minutes on 180 degrees. Ideally, you want them to be a light golden color or a blonde color. You don't want them to be really caramelized. Now the sablé biscuits have come out of the oven and I've allowed them to cool completely. You can see there's not too much colour on the biscuits, they're quite blonde and because I've let them cool down they're nice and firm. So now for the fun part which is making the sandwiches. I'm using raspberry jam because that's my favourite flavour but you could use strawberry jam, apricot jam, blackberry jam, there's so many different varieties. So before we start doing the sandwich though I would love a little icing sugar on the tops. So just on these discs here, the little rings, we want to just generously coat them in some icing sugar. A little bit more here. Great. And now just using a palette knife, the round biscuits will just flip over 
and we'll add our jam quite generously, not all the way to the sides because what's going to happen is we're going to place the tops on and squish it. Look at that. Now, once this sablé biscuit has the jam in it and it's been sandwiched together, this, in fact, is called a dodger. You know what? I need to make a few more of these, but before I do, I'm going to have a taste of the first one. Always tastes better. Mmm. That's one seriously delicious biscuit. <laughs>